All right, we're back. We're back. More with more Persona. Playing Persona 4. Yep. Probably gonna check out a cultural club. Yeah. We should join the drama club. Uh, you've been pushing the drama club pretty hard, so we'll take a look at what they're all about. Um. Oh yeah, practice build. Yeah. I assume it's well, the practice building. Yes. Uh, I joined the band, and I didn't like the confidant you get for that very much. So we should join the drama club so we get the other. Okay. Now I'm living for Ian's mistakes. Uh. Yes. I'm just kidding. Uh, where the hell do I go? I don't know. You might, uh, we might have to go back to the other side and, uh, talk to... The faculty office? Yeah, talk to King Moron again. Sweet. Is faculty? Why about joining your club? Sure. Yep. Hey, you want to join a club? Oh, blah, 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 uh, yeah, blah. we've yep. heard this before. The cultural clubs? You better not be interested in them just so you can meet girls, mister. You can join either the drama club or the band. Both clubs meet on the ground floor of the practice building. Go find them yourself. Where you go, they meet on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Wow, that's like the same as sports club. Yeah, it's just So Monday. are we done here? Monday and Saturday are non-overlapping, so. Yep. Maybe it's the meeting room. Maybe. Maybe they meet in the storage closet, who knows? Right. Maybe the band is deeply neglected. It's a meeting room, but it appears the drama club uses it for practice. Do you want to join the drama club? Get a tour first. <laughs> okay. Yasogami High Drama Club. You watch the students practice. Alright everyone, vocal exercises. Repeat after me. Is that the confidant? Yes. Okay, you be the confidant. I'm already a bunch of confidants. <laughs> the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue. <laughs> Alright. Right, where's the where does the band do they practice in the science lab oh oh boy <laughs> there's a mysterious voice in there so we're gonna not i wonder if it's noguchi right just doing good work at the high school all mac room smells good okay it appears that most of these places are actually used for what they're for storage room oh music prep room oh music room i don't know Music room used by the symphonic band. Do you want to join the symphonic band? Get a tour first. Yasugami High Music Room. Watch the symphonic band rehearse. I like how they use the same music note symbol. <laughs> da 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 da. Alright, which confidant do you like better? He looks six. Yeah. Like, I've never seen a high schooler that looked like that. Alright, fine. We'll, we'll join the drama <laughs> club so we don't end up romancing a six-year-old. That's the only reason. Yeah, of course. I mean, she even plays the trombone, so... Right? Good taste. She started with an edge. Yeah, so got me high drama club. Let's move on to tongue twisters. Ready? The sixth chick cheeks chick cheap... Ah! I thought you screwed it up, and then I'm like, no, they just wrote that to be. Yeah. The sixth sick sheiks sixth sheep sick. You're still not saying it correctly. Come on, you're our club president. He was bitchy. Yeah. Oh, a new guy. You're S from second year, right? The transfer student. Man, you're like a secret agent or something. I see. I see. Welcome to the drama club. I'm the club president, Nagai, and this is. I'm in the second year, same as you. It's nice to meet you. Well, Yumi is a high tier name. Yumi, are you trying to get your hooks into the new guy already? I'll allow it. Huh? Not in the slightest. Anyway, let's continue practicing. 
We don't have a stage and we haven't decided on a script yet, so we're just training. I'm sure you'll catch on. Our club meets on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. We're not going to throw you out if you don't show up. But the more you train, the better you'll get, right? I think being in the drama club helps you learn how to express yourself more eloquently. Or oh. be more expressive. Yes. Uh, that one's nice because I believe expression is what you need to talk to Dojima. Ah. And he's a cool confidant. Sweet. Oh yeah, I'm the club's vice president. I'm not really much help though. Oh no. That's okay, Maya. I'm, I know you put a lot of effort into it. Besides, you're so cute. Don't call me Maya in front of everyone. Oh, wow. of course. It seems to be a friendly club. Oh, we're joining that type of club? Hell yeah. Ilkun, forget about them. Let's practice, okay? Sure. We'll start with voice lessons. Oh, everyone else is gone? Yep. That's right, focus on your stomach. Push the air out. Now say, ah. Arg. <laughs> oh no. Don't yell, you're gonna strain your throat. Your coaching is relentless. Well, school's over already. What the? Everybody's already gone. Didn't even notice. Oh no, she's a spaz. Is brisk. I'll see you next time. Come to practice, okay? <laughs> I want to quit. <laughs> I'm glad to see you can take orders. Oh, we should have oh. gone with yes, ma'am. She would have really liked it. All right. She smiles cheerfully. Well, fate must have brought us here. Let's do the best with what we have. Joined the drama club and became acquaintances with Yumi Ozawa. Yumi is enthusiastically devoting her time to acting. You feel a faint bond forming between Yumi and yourself. What's she gonna be? Oh, the sun. You talked about this. I did. Wow, that face on the sun looks pretty whack. <laughs> Salute the sun. Time to do yoga? Yes. We've established the Yumi Ozawa social link of the Sun Arcana. We get an XP bonus. We. We. Oh yeah, have you ever gone to see a play or a musical being performed live? I have a DVD you can borrow. It'll definitely help your technique. That's not live. But whatever. The other members of the drama club don't watch this kind of stuff. Or even talk about it. Oh no. Casuals. They're all casuals and she's a tryhard. Right. You may passionately discuss acting as you walked home together. Wow. You make friends fast. Yes. Walking home together. We're a persona protagonist. We just get people. Right. We're just showered and... Home. Thanks, Nanako. Went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. Okay. Can I eat it? Will it taste like nothing? There's a variety of food inside. Make lunch for tomorrow? Sure. Will this make me diligent? I don't know. Surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make pork ginger. You decide to make pork ginger. You have any idea what we're doing? How should you prepare the pork meat? Uh-oh. Oh boy. Don't blanch it. Okay. Soak it in oil. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The meat is slimier than ever now. It can be used as fish <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, we're not very good at this. Oh, I'm sorry, Nanako. Oh, no! Oh, no, that used her whole evening! <laughs> Where's my money? I've heard there's a mysterious animal dwelling in the shopping district area. Oh, yeah, we forgot to do that. Supposedly, it knows how to search the change dispenser or the vending machine. How amazing is that? Even animals can learn the value of money. I guess I'll have to keep my wallet more secure from now on. Students, at your age, you might not understand. Money is very important. You can't do anything without it. And you know, smarts don't guarantee wealth. Anyway, I guess I should do what they pay me for and lecture you. Because we yeah. weren't doing that before. Yeah. Let's see. We left off talking about the properties of whole numbers. Oh, here's an interesting one. A natural number that's half the sum of its positive divisors is called... Come on, look at the third page of the handout. What's the answer, class? Alright, Mr. Math. 
I need to see the options. Why GA? Think so? Huh, I can't find my handout. Half of some of its divisors? I'm totally lost. Do you know what the answer is, Bill Coon? Half the sum of its divisors. Not a prime number. I would I would assume it's a perfect number because an amicable number sounds stupid. It does sound stupid. It might be the right answer though, and then I'll be stupid. Wait, half a sum. Eh. Go with perfect. Sure. I don't know. You gave her the answer you think is correct. Right, a perfect number, Satanaka-san. Please come pick up an extra handout if you don't have one. Now, about these perfect numbers. First one is 6, then 28, and then we jump to 496, and the next one is 8,128. Okay, this is like less useful. For your information, no perfect number that is also odd has been found yet. That's why these numbers are so special. Anyway, let's move on. This is the Mersenne Prime. It's really quite... Oops, I guess she saw me. But thanks, Bill Coon. Chie appreciates you. You feel you've become a little closer to Chie. Ooh, our expression significantly increased. Oh boy. You're gonna be so good at Drama Club. Yep. Come on, Chie, approach us at lunchtime. I like how he comes down the stairs every time. Yep. Ah, it's you, me. Hey. Hey, Bill Coon. We have practice today. You're coming, right? No, we're gonna have to start choosing. Right. Will you spend the afternoon at the drama club? Decide later. I see. What's your choice? Just be sure to come by before <laughs> you forget everything I taught you before. What will you do after school? It's like this first Tuesday, it's like we can probably hang out with Yosuke, and we might be able to hang out with Chi- Yup. Chi- And then both practices Yo. today. Yo, what you doing? Hey, if you have time after school, hang out with me, okay? When I'm not busy after school, you can usually find me hanging out on the roof. I was right! Think about it! Maybe you should hang out with Chie after school. Are we gonna get approached by Daisuke as well? Right? Okay. <laughs> he called it. Yeah, 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 hang out, practice, maybe we should go. Oh no, we have so many commitments. Why does no one meet on Wednesday? Wednesdays are just not bumping, dude. Apparently. Classes have ended for today. I was waiting for you to go. Yeah, I think the rain starts like tomorrow, and uh, then it'll rain for a few days, and then the plot will move along after the fog. Ah, oh, there's GA. Yep, way in the back. Yo! Yo, Bill Coon, what you doing? Seems Chie isn't busy. You spend the afternoon with Chie? Uh. Then come with me. The perils of Bill controlling the controller. <laughs> Chie looks happy. Dude, we're gonna Chie to 10 so fast. Oh no. No, the worst mistake I made when I played this game was I got Yukiko to 10 and then met actual best girl and I was like, no, I've made a mistake. Haha. <laughs> Samegawa River. I invested my time poorly. I thought you liked Yukiko best. Uh, I do like Yukiko, but I like Risei more. Ah. Hmm, this seems like a good spot. Part of that was getting to hear Risei talk, because she's voiced by Laura Bailey, who has a goal. Ah, uh, okay. You know, for training. Viewers who have watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Laura Bailey voices Lust. So, ah. you can get that impression. I need to hone my kicking skills, or I won't be able to use them in battle. Uh. I tried practicing at home, but my mom and dad yelled at me for putting a hole in the shoji. That oh, no. sounds about right, honestly. Still, now's the time to train, right? Right. You think so too? Oh man. Chie looks really happy. How many music notes? She seems easy to please. Right? So, let's train together. I think she's a bit simple. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> no? I'm cool with it. All right. Yes! Thanks, Bill Coon. Chie looks really happy. Oh man, we're so bestest friends now. Right? That thing, you know, from that time? I mean the shadow that came out of me. I feel pathetic knowing that's another me. It makes me feel like I gotta work harder. Alright, let's do it. Between you and me, we'll be unstoppable. Marks the beginning of your training with Chie. You feel your relationship with Chie has grown a bit deeper.
we there get rank two. Use better chariots. And the reality is that like getting confidant ranks with your uh party members with your party members is inherently really valuable because the extra abilities they get are so good. Yeah, it makes them better in combat. Let's start today with frog leaps. Come on, you try some. Even if this game doesn't have a friggin' baton pass. <laughs> Train with Chie for a while and walked part way home with her. Oh, not all the way? Not mm. all the way. Only really rank two, Bill. You gotta cool your jets. I was gonna say that comes later. I was gonna say, we should, like, at least Thanks, just Nanako. swing out to the left a little bit when we get home to see if Nanako... Apparently not. I'm oh, sure like, has, if she has the thingy? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna not mess with the fridge. <laughs> Accidentally make fish bait. Man, like, that was rough. <laughs> that was really funny, though. I love how it Persona randomly decides to get really weird. Right. Gives it character. They're diligent. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's, pace. let's gamble. Ah! We got tired and couldn't achieve our goal. No, 600 no. yen. We earned so few Wait, yen. Wait, that averages out to be good. It does. So. All right. I guess. You heard it here, kids. Gamble. Gamble. Gamble whenever you can. Gamble. Gamble fast and hard. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up this morning. Uh 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 oh. The end is near. Yukiko is gonna die. No, probably not. Classes have ended for today. Yeah, yeah. Um, check the roof. She isn't going to want to practice kicking when it's raining, Bill. Come on. Oh, you're right. Oh, I like how I get an umbrella. Yeah. Awesome. So, none of the clubs meet today. Let's... No, yeah, I was going to say you could check the second floor for Yosuke, or we could head into town and see if there's something fun to do. I don't think I walked the wrong way. Okay. I think, well, I think actually you did walk the wrong way, but he's still not here, so. I see how it is. <laughs> you just gotta tell me I'm wrong. Uh, sure, why not? Why not? I don't actually remember what there is to do. Like, right. You know about the mid- oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, telling us about the Midnight Channel. Yep. Like, you could try, like, that first store that you just passed. Maybe you can buy something. Great man. Price. Oh yeah, you can sit at your you can sit on your couch and read. Oh okay. and that's another activity and you can uh like you could buy that book and uh when you read you'll generate stuff. Purchased a great man. Okay. Read the book on the sofa in your room. Got the blacksmith Tofu shop? Uh this one's plot relevant later, so I doubt it'll let you in there now. Okay. That's the general store. Go north. We can hang out at the liquor store. Yo! Just lose all of our diligence. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Chinese diner. Promotion. Yeah, Rainy there we challenge. go. 3,000 yen mega beef bowl. You finish this quintuple sized bowl, it's free. You think this dish will raise several characteristics? Spend time here? Duh. Ah, uh, yes. What do we need our money for, dude? <laughs> that was like a quarter of our money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Well, it's more than a quarter of our money after we bought that book. True. You accepted the rainy day special Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. Oh, yeah. This You can only do this when it's raining. Yeah. Still can't see the rice. You begin to suspect your portal is a portal to... Your, your bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within the bowl is truly staggering. I'd pay 30 bucks for that. In order to finish this bowl, you must have understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face the unrelenting tide of beef, and the diligence to persevere against this colossal challenge. All these traits are necessary to master the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. You are unable to finish your meal in your current state. Well, now we know what the title of the episode. <laughs> you try your best to finish the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge, and your personality has grown tremendously. I can't decide between that and portal to the meat dimension. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. All our stats are going up. Not diligence, though, because we're a Nope. Ah, uh, yeah. Too bad, mister. That'll be 3,000 yen. Come back soon. Thank you. 
yeah, I'll happily take my 30 bucks. I was going to say, like, that's still, like, a good use of your money. Yeah. Is, or your time, I guess. Right, no, it's very time efficient. Mm -hmm. After finishing your meal, you went home. We still haven't actually increased any of the stats, though. Just no, because it's Persona, so it's going to take a million days. <laughs> Thanks, Nanako. Just too busy hanging out with her friend the TV. Yep. So, yeah, now you can go for... Uh, you can read your book on the couch, which I forget what stat a great man gives you. Um. Uh, which book do I want to read? Man's Life Series. Oh, okay. I guess we'll just have to find out. Yeah. It won't tell us. Read a great man? Uh, I guess this might tell us what it'll give us. Well, I think, like, you finish books faster if you glance through, but that means, like, you can get more total stuff out of one book if you read thoroughly. Like, I think, okay. I think there's a certain amount of progress. You decide to read with your full attention. Every chapter begins... All men have the great spirit of masculinity within themselves. Yes. The spirit of true manhood transcends space and time, and all people of all cultures and genders feel its call. You feel more like a real man than ever before. Courage, yeah. Yes. Greatly increased. Still some pages of it left. You decide to save them and read them next time. Yeah, like it takes you multiple sittings, but that means that like you're getting more stats for the dollars you paid for your... For my great man? Yes. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up. Oh, an emergency. Gotta clear the dungeon now. Yep. Wait. Kind of funny, it doesn't really work Yo. here, just Morning. because we don't have our full party yet. But another thing you can do is, like, clear the dungeon early and then spend some of the remaining days grinding so that oh you're boy. ready for the next one. More grinding. Yep. Hey, hey, Yukiko told me she'll be able to come to school again in two days. Oh, man, I'm glad. I'm so happy. It's thanks to you, Chie. Come on, you know it's because all three of us did our best. Oh, I kind of want to play this game like a psychopath sometime. Oh, no, you're a bad person. <laughs> oh, look how embarrassed she is. Yeah. Actually, more like the three of us and one animal thingy. Oh, she didn't like that? Damn. You should have been a psychopath. I didn't... I guess. <laughs> Alright, it's Thursday. What are we doing? Um, well, we're gonna check the roof. Although it's raining, so... <laughs> okay, so we actually... Today. We actually have to do drama club. Oh, yeah, because there's no practice on Yeah, days. or we could go eat a beef ball. <laughs> could go eat a beef ball. Just have no money when the next dungeon arc starts. You know, when you say it that way, I think we'll go to drama club. <laughs> Yes, we will spend time at the drama club. Yeah, we need to get some of our other stats up so we can take the jobs that earn more money instead yeah. of just making envelopes. We're trying. Drama yep. club. Participate in the acting exercises. You thoroughly practice expressing a variety of emotions. Your expression has significantly increased. Just doing fundamentals all the time gets boring, so let's try doing some real performing. Oh, Yumi's gonna get uh, pissed. Yeah. We'll hold an audition. Everyone, remember the line I'm about to say. After the audition, we'll decide our roles and finish it off with a five minute skit. Got it? Now pay attention. What crazes me is not the light of the moon nor the golden sea, but merely the trickle of your tears. Y'all got that? Well, I'm not gonna repeat it. Alright, we'll start with Bill. Come on up here in front of everybody. Show some emotion. Oh no, our rank one expression. Let's go for Don't it. worry. Believe in yourself. Oh, she's so encouraging. We're about to biff it super hard. Oh no. The line began. Crazes what me. crazes me is not. Then it went. The light of the moon? See? The light of the moon. Oh no, I forgot it already. You're getting into it. You recited the entire line with lots of emotion. Oh, oh, everyone's got all the flowers. Okay, next person. It's gonna be Yumi, I imagine. I don't know. Maya. Maya, you wanna try? We already know that you're gonna be my main character. Oh my uh, god, what a piece of crap. I'll try. I think I got it. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's stressed. What crazes me? Yumi appears to be a completely different person as she recites. 
is not the light of the moon, nor the golden sea, but merely a trickle of your tears. She's looking rough. She's acting. I know. <laughs> Yumi's own eyes are full of tears. She has become the character. That was amazing! Looking cool. <laughs> She's always so good. It's scary. If anyone thinks they can do a better job than me, please come on up. Bitch alarm. Oh man, I like Yumi. Wee woo wee woo bitch alarm. Just, Yumi, don't say it like that. She's just fucking styling on everybody. Right. If only standing around flirting made you a better actor, huh? Oh my. Oh yes. Give it to I mean, he kind of deserved that. Yes. I think you're mine. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hey, come on! We all remember the line, so we might as well do it, right? I think watching others act is a good experience, too. Don't you, Yumi? You're right. Go on ahead. Everyone recited the line, but Yumi was the best, hands down. Oh, yeah. I think I did it the best. <laughs> okay, we've unanimously decided that Yumi will be the protagonist. She'll and, be up, oh. and she'll be opposite Bill. I. I mean, it's either you or me, and I. What I'd really rather do is direct. You must play Yumi's husband in a short skit. Victory. <laughs> you have your lines memorized. Are you ready to go? <laughs> Don't be so tense. This is just practice. But I do want us to take it seriously, so give it a shot, okay? I'll give it my all. Yes. Okay. Well, I'll lead you through it. She seems excited. Acting is fun, isn't it? When you're acting, it's like you get to take on the life of another person. Not just yourself. Not some Yumi Ozawa. But another life to live. I don't need lights. I don't need costumes. All I need is a role to play. <coughs> all I need to not be me. Oh, Or you be dark. Oh, sorry. If I keep talking, you'll end up forgetting your own lines, huh? <laughs> Let's give it a whirl, Dottie. Get your <laughs> wee bass out of here. <laughs> oh, come on. That was like a timely reference for now. Maybe not when this goes up. Fair point. With Yumi's encouragement, you decided to accept the role of her husband. You feel that your relationship with Yumi has deepened a little. It was too perfect, too. Yeah. Like, they even put it in quotes. All right, fine. Boom. Ah, that's some face. <laughs> it's horrifying. I'm gonna get that as a sticker, and I'm gonna put it on all your stuff. Oh, great. Thanks, dude. All right, wanna add lip a kiss? Sure. Oh, where's the sweeper off her feet option? Right. With Yumi's help, you are able to complete the skit to the applause of the entire drama club. Let's go home. Yumi seems very happy. You went home. Gotta keep our lady friends happy. Right. We're only romancing Chie though. No. Welcome home. Thanks, Nanako. Can we get manlier? I was gonna say, do you want to get manlier? Do you want to make envelopes? Or do you want to study? Because I think you need uh, one option or one benefit of studying is that once we get our knowledge up a little, then we can do the translating, which pays better. Oh, you're right. And also, we don't want to fail our exams that too because that'll probably give us a bunch of awesome stuff yeah like charm or whatever well not charm but it'll give us expression or whatever yeah understanding that's what all the ladies like anyway so oh yes close enough to charm rain doesn't seem to be letting up this morning Today is show a day, so you have the day off from school. Okay, I was about to comment why are we dressed like a goon if we have right? school today, but... All you can do is wait for Yukiko's recovery. What should you do today? Well, maybe someone will call us up to hang out. Go into town. Yes. That's fine. But now if we don't find something to do, we won't be able to return till the evening. I think we'll find something to do. I was going to say, we can always just go to the... Go get a beef bowl? Yes. Oh no, I can't go to the uh, roof. <laughs> she definitely won't be on the roof. You can check out the floodplains. Sometimes people hang out there. Uh, when they're not at school. Oh yeah, that's where we practice. 
Yeah. Or train, I guess. Oh, yeah. It's like free. Check. I assume this is the riverbed zone. I think so. I guess. Riverbank. Okay, yeah. Riverbed, riverbank. And there's nothing here? Of that person? Yeah, and sometimes the people, like, oh, now I remember why talking to people is relevant. Because, uh, this game has one of those giant ass fetch quests that, like, just you have to trade with, like, 27 different people. Gross. Yeah. And, like, one of the, one of the links was there on the floodplain. I see. Would it be full time? Uh, yes. You can always check the jobs to see if there are any new jobs, but. Ah. Well, that's towards the other way. Shut up. Okay. I mean, don't shut up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell me what to do. Whatever you say. <laughs> I, I don't think there will be anything new, but you can always check. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Soon. We still can't do anything, so. Ooh, rainy day mega beef ball challenge. Oh man, we can spend so much money. But uh, I'm gonna not read the dialogue this time. Yes. Because it not, will be the same. It will be the same. We haven't <laughs> upped any of our stats. I did like the descriptions were excellent. Yep. Ah uh, yeah, too bad, mister. Taking our money. What a con. Oh, right? Not even giving us any stats. Yep, terrible. Due to the weekend rainfall, clear skies seem unlikely in the area. A thick fog is expected to set in tonight and remain until tomorrow morning, with heaviest concentration in the Inaba area. Anyone planning to go out tonight should take care. Now for our hourly weather breakdown. Oh, we don't care about hourly weather? There's been a lot of that lately. Hopefully it's not a sign of more trouble. Uh, uh, uh. What did I say about changing the channel without asking? He's very upset. Time for discipline. Have a great day, even during Golden Week, at your local Tunex. You know, when Come you have like four holidays in one week, you want to go to Walmart. Products. Yep. Just love the exclamation mark. Right. We just need the Metal Gear Solid noise. <laughs> she got alerted. I heard. Do you want to go somewhere during the long holiday? God. <laughs> we can go somewhere. How about it? Got any plans yet? Oh, no plans. Oh, you're such a good adopter, son. <laughs> right. No, I'm good. But how could you sit out of the fire? Go to Juness. We can go there anytime. Come on, girl. Time for bed. It's late. All right. Every day's great at your Juness. Her soul is <laughs> just owned by Walmart. This is why you don't raise kids with TV, right? Nanako seems very excited about the family outing. At the very least, you got to find commercial-free TV so they get. So they become indoctrinated with the actual television instead of the commercials. Right. The... Oh. I guess oh, yeah, it's we'll... raining. I guess we're watching the Midnight Channel. Right. Time to find out who's going to get hurt next. Yeah. Midnight. You look so weird without a jacket. Right. Practically naked. Fog has set in. And it's not foggy in the place. Yes. Still clear. Which means it's a bad place. Yeah. You don't want it to be crystal clear. Right? No one is appearing on the midnight channel. Since Yukiko has been rescued, it seems the killer was floored, thwarted this time. Huh. So, in Persona 5, I got one of the bad endings. Because I'm a psychopath and I made a weird choice. Okay. And I just realized that that game... 
it might not have had like just game over screens. Like I bet you got like weird endings if you let deadlines go by. Yeah, and, and like... so I wonder if there were like gruesome other endings to this game too. If you missed your deadlines, probably. Meanwhile, at the fog shrouded shopping district. Uh oh, it's that track. Okay, there's a dude. Or maybe a woman. Could have been anybody. Oh, it's Yukiko. It could have been Yukiko. Maybe. Probably not. Oh. Good, Good morning. Morning. Um, yes. Um. I'm better now. I'll be coming to school again, so that that'll be nice. <laughs> she doesn't talk very loud. I caused everyone some real trouble. I'm sorry. mean to say is thank you seems more cheerful than before my mother's back to work already the maids are being really supportive and i think things are going even smoother than before yay I wonder if i was trying too hard i may have been too caught up in the idea that i had to do everything myself probably Ever since the yep. incident i feel like i can think about these things more calmly Kind of embarrassing. You guys embarrassed. Know everything, even the things I didn't want to admit. Now all her friends know that she wants a prince. That's only one part of you. Yep. I'd like to believe that. Yukiko. Tia is not quiet. Oh, it's Tia. Well, I'll talk to you later. Peace. Yukiko has come back as energetic as ever, though not very. Yeah. It's a good thing you were able to save her. She's got a more quiet, serene energy. Yeah. Right. She is more... achy. Yes. <laughs> hmm? Yukiko-san is back. That's good. I'm glad the only cutie in the class was able to return. Wouldn't you guys agree? Agree. I mean, he is. Right Oops! Now. I mean, all of you are cute. No, really. Like worse. Uh, please don't tell your parents I said that, will ya? I don't want to get in trouble. Ugh. Anyway, I have an interesting topic for you today. Close your books and take a look at the handout. Sounds like a good time to pick on the city boy, <sighs> Bill Coon. Oh no! Oh, he's quick. <laughs> yeah, right. Which of the following is the highest mountain in the solar system? Uh, uh, it's not Mount Olympus. Um, I think... Or unless there's an Olympus on Mars. Well, yeah, because there's Olympus Mons, which is the mountain on Mars, and I believe that's actually the answer. Cool. See, I saw Mount Olympus and I thought of Hercules. Well, I mean, that's why they named it that, but yeah. Let's try it. You gave there's a reason he said the solar system, not on Earth. Yeah, yeah, you think is correct. Wow, you really are from the city. Well, I guess that doesn't have anything to do it. Ha ha ha. On the planet Mars, Mount Olympus, or Olympus Mons, has an elevation three times that of Mount Everest. Wow. People tend to think Everest is the highest mountain. That's just thinking inside the worldwide box. Since you got me started on mountains, I'm going to cover some material on their characteristics. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. Oh, because we didn't. It wasn't a friend who got asked. Yeah, no. It was just us. We're just being swag all over the place. Yep. Oh, we're meeting on the roof. Keep you waiting. The sofa's yours, right, Chie? Thanks. Oh, that smells good. All these instant noodles are just the thing to help me through club. Uh, how much longer do I have to wait on this? It still needs a few minutes. I do kind of wish we had, like, the Japanese so giant the bowls. Right, the big yeah, proper yeah, ones. Yukiko, what happened? The freaking cup noodle. Yeah. They have a... Did you recall anything of that when you got kicked? At the store they have something similar, but it's all just chow mein. Like, they don't have uh, anything else. No. I thought I might remember something if I let it sit for a while. 
but as time passes, it only gets crazier. And the doorbell rang at the entrance, and someone called for me. But when I woke up after that, I was already in the castle. I'm sorry. No. I don't need to apologize. But does this mean her visitor is the culprit? Holly. I don't know. If it's true, then that's one daring criminal. What kind of killer would ring the doorbell? The police are probably looking for witnesses, but I don't think we can expect much from them. <laughs> As if the culprit wore bright yellow clothes at the scene of the crime. She was a murderer, she would. Yeah. I wonder why whoever it is would do stuff like this. We won't know until we confront them ourselves. But we can be sure of one thing. It's no coincidence that people keep ending up in that place. Someone on our side is definitely kidnapping them and throwing them into the TV. It's murder, all right. Oh yeah, we never told you. This guy and me are gonna catch the culprit ourselves. The police are out of their league on this case, but we got personas. Old. Would you lend us a hand? We gotta get the girls in on this. Yep. Huh? Um. It was easy to sell Chie. Someone would throw people into a place like that. I'm gonna sock whoever's doing this. Chie. Let me help too. Yeah. I know why gonna burn them all. Especially oh, she's gonna heal us. So much they want to kill me. I don't know. I mean, she. <laughs> She's she's like on like she plays like on so she's gonna unleash the fire. Oh, okay. She's good for the AOE heals. She also brings the pain. Sweet. So her SP is gonna be mega pinched. You yes. could go join the group. She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. No, yeah, we wanna like if we can get a hold of like an accessory that uh that will like give her more maximum SP or something like that. That would be nice. We're probably still pretty far off from one that regenerates SP. But... Yeah. But how are we going to find them? We don't have a single lead yet. I'm the third one to be targeted so far, but I have a feeling this isn't the end of it. Nope, game's over. If we had an idea of who might be targeted next, wouldn't we have an advantage over the killer? Why is it always That's... bad ends that end the game really early? Why is there never a good end where we just catch the killer <laughs> after the first dungeon? So That'd be dumb. Yeah. First, there was that announcer, Mayumi Yama. Second, was Saki Konishi. Second. Third, was Yukiko Amari. What do they all have in common? The girls. Oh. Yeah. Bingo. How dare he target females? Now that is unforgivable. This culprit's gotta be some kind of pervert. She is totally gonna beat him also, up. What about this? <laughs> The second and third victims had some sort of connection to the first one. Hey, that's right. Yukiko and Saki Senpai both had connections to that announcer. That's true. Then does that mean females connected in some way to Miss Yamano's case are being targeted? I think that's a safe assumption for now. There's another angle we can take too. If another person disappears, can save them. You think they'd be on that midnight channel? It is funny that we're kind of like the police, but also the first responders. Like, yeah. we're trying to prevent the crime, but <laughs> if someone else gets thrown to the TV, we can go save them again. Yep. The victims disappear. That's what we're good at. Kind of like a ransom note. We still don't know why that happens, but we'll have to rely on it for now. Next time it rains. Seems that the Midnight Channel is your only means of predicting who will be kidnapped next. You must remember to watch it on the next rainy night. Oh yeah, we get the grainy versions the on the way, Midnight Channel before right people now? actually get chosen. Yep. By the way, uh, oh wait, why are you talking? Whoa, that's right! Chow time! Nom nom nom. Hey, could I try just a little bit of that? Just one tiny bite. Can't tell if they're cheap. Oh. The balls are actually hey, enormous. <laughs> Go get your own if you want some. Uh, okay, but 
Just one bite. Got it. Delicious aroma from the udon bowl is drifting your way. Is it udon or soba? Well, I, Chie got soba. Because remember, you can go uh, sit down and say the soba is yours, right? So she got udon. I see. <laughs> I'll try a bite. Oh, you fool thinking that you're allowed to be a person? Is he just gonna chow? It's so good! The aroma, the flavor, and the texture all combined. This is perfect! It's too delicious to stop eating. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to split. Oh, they're empty. You ate everything. Oh. My fried tofu. <laughs> I hope you guys understand what this means. Made a mistake. <laughs> we owe them. Wait, 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 stop. I'm sorry. I'll buy you steak. It'll be on me. Oh, I would definitely trade a bowl for steak. Yeah, remember the last time you took people out for steak? I we don't. went and got chicken tenders at the Juness food court. Oh, you're right. It's a bait. My tofu. Oh, Yukiko. Right? Come on, Yukiko. There's steak in it for us. It's kind of funny when you uh, Yosuke does it, but when we do it, I'm just like, oh no, I didn't mean to be a bad person. Right? Well, as long as it isn't too fatty. Darn right. To buying us steak. It's like the opposite of Persona 5. In that game, we were going for uh, we were going for the fatty tuna all the time. Right. Filet, filet, filet mignon. Uh. Hey, you've got a pony up too. You're just as much to blame. I don't know if we have enough money for that. Spend it all on beef bowls. <laughs> oh yeah, that beef bowl was more expensive than any filet has a right to be. Except like the nicest play. Man, talk about great oh, they timing. actually got... We just started serving grilled steak today. We're doing our part to spread this town's specialty dish. <laughs> Plus, we've already got an excellent grill. But that's just a yakisoba griddle. No, oh, well, steak is steak. It's far from a filet steak, though. Yukiko, are you okay with this? Not too heavy for you? I'll eat it. Huh. I'm still mad. Oh, Why do we got to be such jerks? I didn't choose this. Right? I chose to take a bite. But it was too delicious. You couldn't help yourself. If you focus just on the announcer's case, it seems like a revenge thing. Maybe it was your lover's wife. But Misuzu Hiraki had a solid alibi, didn't she? And it, it seems like she was already separated from her husband. Really? You know an awful lot about this. Okay, what about the second case? Saki Senpai. She found the announcer's body. Assuming the same person killed them both, then why target Senpai? Uh it was to shut her up. Yeah, I think so too. Nice. Maybe she found a clue or something about the culprit. But the killer just threw the announcer into a TV, right? I don't think he would have left evidence the police, much less a high school student, would catch. Yeah, exactly. Man, I thought the countryside would be a snooze. But it's proven to be a lot more exciting than I thought. Sup, Adachi? Oh, they updated the menu. Huh, isn't he that detective? We can get Adachi to spill the beans? <laughs> yep. Hey, you were at Dojima-san. Great timing after all. Dojima-san said that he'll be leaving work on schedule tonight. Would you pass that on to Nanako-chan? Your thing, boss. Yo, I'm Adachi. Dojima-san's gopher. Uh, I mean, his partner. Are you this busy every day? Huh? Oh, well, the public seems to be getting a charge out of these cases, but we can't leave it at that. Sorry to butt in, but could it be that the killer targeted Saki Senpai in order to silence her? Um, you sure get to the heart of the matter. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we're also thinking along those lines. Uh -oh. She was killed right after the announcer's body was found. 
that she is just a leaky faucet. Yep. It might have been something at the scene only she would have understood it. Which would mean that the culprit may be someone close to Miss Kunishi. Nothing like that points to Misuzu Hiragi, so... Oh, I might have stumbled across something here. Wait, are you listening to all that? Crap, you're my big mouth. It's like a faucet, except you can't turn it off. Yep. It just goes. Kids, the police are on the job. Yes, sir. Thanks, Adachi. The homie. Oh, you were right, Yosuke. The police are totally useless. Well, maybe not all of them. Right? Uh, my steak's getting cold. Could you shut up about the steak for five seconds? Nah. Steak's important. He waited for the two to finish eating, then decided to go into the TV world. Chat up, Teddy. Yeah. Hey, well, Teddy, did you see anything? Well, there's something very important to me. Ah. Oh, she needs glasses. She does need glasses. Wow. This really is inside the TV. <laughs> it's Teddy. I love Teddy. <laughs> I prefer Morgana, but okay. Better, Yuki -chan? Morgana hey, doesn't go. Wah, 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 wah. This is correct. Oh, Just a cat. Good boy. Ooh. Well, this bears part of the reason we want to find the culprit. I'm one of the group now, too. Let's work together, okay? Good thing. Yep, I was thinking the same thing. That's why I got these ready for you, Yuki-chan. Boy. Get super prissy glasses? No, yeah, not I'm really. Wearing. Thank you. You're right. It's just as if the fog doesn't exist. I think she has hey, glasses are prissier. Uh, sure, yeah. So many pairs of glasses. <laughs> Excellent question. Guess what? I'm the one who makes them. Where does he get the glass? I, I lived here for a long time. So I came up with some ways to be comfortable here. But then why don't you wear glasses? <laughs> see. He doesn't oh, need okay. to. Don't you need a pair? Ooh, good point. Another great question. Listen to this. My eyes themselves are lenses. I mean, aren't everyone's? I mean, yes, but I suspect that that's not exactly what he means. Mm. Why are you being so mean? You act like you're not interested. That's a frowny teddy. Yep. See how smoothly my fingers move? Teddy is delicately moving his fingertips. What are you even looking at? <laughs> hmm? You dropped something. Uh oh, more glasses. <laughs> That's a pair I can oh, yeah. strap on. So that's so <laughs> weird. <laughs> uh, um, Yukiko? <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Looks natural on you. One Yuki Chan. I want to wear this one. It's even got a nose guard. Oh my god, she's an idiot. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. How very unfortunate. That pair doesn't have the right lenses in. Oh no. I, I should have made an actual pair. Ah, oh, too bad. What a shame. <laughs> Here, Chie, your turn. Ah, oh, man. All right. Yeah, you can't resist. Here you go. <laughs> oh, I think I cut her off. I think she was still <laughs> laughing. She's gonna keep going. <laughs> go so I think she I should keep them. Hello. Nah. There goes one of Yukiko's laughing fits. She'd do it when someone besides me was around. She's growing. Yep. These stupid glasses are useless for investigating. I mean, what the hell's this nose for anyway? <laughs> for holding the mustache. Nice yep. work, huh? That's what happens when you guys leave me here alone and I get bored. Well, I'm glad that she's in high spirits again, I guess. She's just still laughing. Yep. 
appreciate the look on your face. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I can't stop. The goop. Alrighty then, we decide to go back for today. Goes banned. <laughs> the fourth and the fifth. I think I might be able to get the fourth and fifth off. Really? Really? What, you don't believe me? A weird feeling like believing him has burned her before. Not every year. I know you wanted to go to Jeunesse, but I wouldn't mind going a little further out of the neighborhood. Really? <laughs> Can we go on a trip? Visit other Junesses? Uh, mm. Well, it might be okay to go on a trip once in a while. I'm sure it'll be crowded everywhere, though. We need to think of some place to go. How about you? You want to come along with us? Sure. Yep. Yeah. Well, let's all go together. <laughs> Looks like Nanako wants us all to go. He'll be going on an outing with the Dojimas during the long holiday. Let's bring box lunches. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, good idea. We're always eating side dishes for dinner. But uh, I can't cook, and Nanako's not good enough yet to make them by herself. Hmm. If only we were more diligent. Right. That's what we got this guy for, huh, Nanako? My controller rumbled when he hit me. <laughs> Just go buy a bunch of beef balls. Nanako is pleased. You've been selected to pack the family's box lunches. We'll definitely go by mega beef bowls. Yes. All right. So it's been uh, a while. So I think now is probably a good time to save and call it for this one. Alrighty. We did lots of hanging out with people. We did lots of persona. -ing. Getting ready to move the plot along soon. I think. Talk to you guys next time. Next time.